Hey guys, so what is up and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a tutorial on this eye look right here. It's kind of a sunset, sunrise kind of a vibe. You guys know how much I just love that color combination. I use the new Sigma Beauty. This is the Corderosa palette. Looks like this. It does come with a dual ended brush. You got a E38 on one side and a E54 medium sweeper on the other. This is a warm lover's um, dream right here. It's a very very warm palette, but I absolutely love it because you guys know how much I vibe with these warm tone shades. So yeah, I did pick up some new things. Um, I got these five new Nabla palettes, so I can't wait to kind of dip in and play in these. And gosh, I got a lot of new things coming. The Coca-Cola Morphe collab set. I ordered the Shane Dawson, the Conspiracy palette. I know I'm late to the party on that one, but yeah, we got a lot of fun things coming up. And by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, you need to do so because I do upload kind of mini tutorials, mini makeup things, you know, pictures of new things I get literally like on the daily. So if you're not following me there, I will link my Instagram below right here. So make sure you are following me there. And if you guys are on TikTok, I will link that below as well. Make sure you guys follow me there. So yeah, that is it. Um, if you guys are new, uh, welcome to the video and thank you for clicking on. I'm Lauren Jade. I'm 58. I have mature, crepey, wrinkly skin with hooded eyes that are slightly downturned. So I'm always looking for ways to, you know, cheat the system, catfish and pass my tips and tricks on to you guys. Even though we all have different eye shapes and different levels of hoodedness, I'm hoping you guys can pick up a few things here and there. That is always my goal. So, yeah, that's it. Going to keep this intro short. Um, yeah, so if you guys are new, I'd love to have you join me. Please hit the subscribe button and the post notification bell right next to it. That way YouTube notifies you each and every time I upload. And without further ado, so I can stop yakking, let's get right into this tutorial. All right, so I've already went ahead and I primed my eyes. I used my Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, and I've already set that primer. I used the Hoola Light. But I want to show you guys this real quick before I forget. So I just got these brushes here um, on Amazon. They were like $9. They're doe color. They're dual-ended brushes, and you guys know how much I love brushes. I have hundreds. This one is my ride or die. You guys know that I live by my shader brushes. It's literally like my all-time favorite brush ever and I especially love an angled shader and this one in particular has both so I love this set so I am going to be using this set so I've already set my primer you can see I set this upper brow bone area I did not set the lid area I just set the upper section right up there I used Hula Light and you can see that it kind of has a yellowy undertone which is similar to the soft ochre they both kind of have that yellowy beigey undertone normally I use my melts blur hold on all right, so I went ahead and did some baking. My phone shut off, so I don't remember where I was, but um, I think I was going to show you guys this difference between this Hula Light and my Melts Blur, just so you can see them side by side. This shade here, right here, is like my ride or die. I don't know where I'd be in my eyeshadow game without this. I've said this forever. This kind of has a peachy undertone. This is more of a yellowy undertone. Both work amazing to set the um, primer with. It kind of gives that, you know, just looks like it's part of the skin, you know, and it just meshes so nicely as a backdrop with whatever transition shade I use, which I'm usually bronzing, you know, my crease up in here. So, yeah, it just works perfectly. And if you guys are new to my channel, you guys know that I've said bye-bye to that translucent powder method, the cookie cutter YouTube one size fits all method of setting that primer with a translucent powder. I never liked that deal. I always thought it was half baked, literally. Did set the upper brow bone area. I just set all up in here with my Hula Light. I did not set anything on the lid because I'm going to be doing that later. I'm going to grab just a little bit of this Hula bronzer and just dust this in this upper socket region. This is the blush bar. Benefits of blush bar from last year. I'm just going to kind of, and I want to connect this into the nose bridge contour so I'm looking down into the mirror so I can get really really high I want to get kind of right underneath like this brow and just kind of swirl it in there and I also want to like bring it in and connect it into this like nose bridge area right here and then I'm just going to sweep the rest of it right through the socket just do these people not realize that I'm filming every time the phone rings the video shuts off so yeah, I just created a nice little soft socket crease here with this bronzer and just kind of dusted this up through the inner socket and just connected it to the nose contour and then just feathered this out. 
All right, so now we're gonna go into this palette right here, which I absolutely love. This is the Corderosa Sigma Beauty. Comes with a dual-ended brush. You got the E38 on one side, which is a nice little blender, nice little flat fluffy blender. And then you've got this E54 on this side, which is just a medium sweeper brush, which is great for everything from mapping out your lid space, defining it to you can kind of pack color with this brush. So yeah, it's perfect. All right, I'm going to start with this peachy shade right here called Hybrid. And these shadows are literally like buttery smooth. I absolutely love them. I have gotten quite a bit of fallout with some of these glittery, shimmery shades, but I love these mattes. So I'm going to kind of dust this peachy shade kind of like where I put the bronzer. I didn't go a lot, you know, too heavy with the bronzer and this crease area here because I'm planning to use some other shades, but I really like to have that inner corner shading with the bronzer. So I'm just going to take this and just kind of do the same thing. I'm just going to kind of dust this through the socket. I'm going to start on the inner corner here and just sweep this right on through. Louise base in the shade 02 rumor and I went in and I mapped out my lid space keeping this really really high I'm taking it obviously above my natural crease which is right here really carving this out in the quote hollow of the eye so I can maximize that lid space keeping it light and bright and then it just looks bigger I'm gonna try to show this photo here I can so in this photo in recreating this look you can see that I kept right underneath the arch of the brow really light and that's key here to this look because not only when you have hooded eyes are you faking in like a quote shadow crease you're faking in basically a you know a fake crease right above your natural crease right so but you're also needing to kind of create the illusion of a brow bone because there really is not one with hooded eyes it's not prominent and we do that with shade and light so while we have our orbital bone here shaded we want to add the light in so putting this light right above the arch of the brow and just keeping that area light all right next up I'm gonna go ahead and um do my lid so I'm gonna take this shade right here it's a nice kind of a yellowy peachy and I'm gonna use this the e54 side the medium sweeper side and I'm just going to put this on the lid right here. I love this shade. It is so, so pretty. And I'm kind of going for more of that, just that regular shape. Like I'm not going to wing this out. But if you wanted to, just feel free to extend that out and wing that out. I'm going to kind of stop this kind of like right as if my lower lash line were going kind of up. So like right in there. All right, I'm just kind of adding a little bit of this pinky shade here, and I am going to work this in this upper socket area as well. Just kind of softening the edges using this other doe color brush. This is the one that's got a fluffy brush on one side and like a concealer brush on the other. All right, I'm going to grab a little bit more of that pinky shade, this one right here, that one right there, and I'm going to kind of dust this through like this upper socket, but I'm not going to take this all the way in like I did with that peachy shade or like the bronzer. I'm just going to kind of start like kind of like two thirds and just kind of dust this through. I don't want to go too, um, you know, I don't want to go like to the inner corner with it. I just kind of want to dust this on this upper like in this outer corner here. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do, and I'm using this this palette, this 35OM Morphe palette, because I feel like a lot of you guys probably already have this palette or something similar. I use a lot of these gray tones too, to kind of, you know, um, do little hairline strokes and kind of fill in like my brows. I know. Bronzers as eyeshadows and eyeshadow powder as a brow powder, not a real MUA over here. It is what it is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of these gray shades here. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to use the doe color brush. I'm going to start with that. And I'm going to start to 
kind of sketch out like a liner right here. I'm gonna grab the darker gray, I think. Just kind of start to sketch this out. And starting kind of towards like the back. And then I'm taking it a little bit thicker on this outer corner right here. So once I kind of get that little base, the next thing I'm going to do is kind of map out the wing. So here's how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to start with my lower lash line, following my lower lash line going up. I'm gonna create that little wing tip right there. And once I have this little wing tip right here, I'm gonna draw a line right next to it because my eyes are downturned, so I don't want all that color coming way down here. I wanna create the illusion of lift. So I'm gonna take the wing tip up a little higher. It's almost like I'm cutting off like this bottom, like three millimeters of like the lid because that's downturned anyway. So I'm gonna draw that line right next to it like so, and then I'm just going to pull this in, I'm going to drag this in, and then I'm just going to fill it in. All right, so this is just a nice little, short little baby type wing. So now I'm going to do the other side. So I'm going to take a not so dark shade um, for the first one, because this is just to give me that alignment. So following that lower lash line going up, I'm just creating a little wing tip hoping you guys can see it i might have to make it a little bit darker just so that it like shows up on camera so there's a little wing tip and then i'm going to go in with a darker shade and i'm going to draw the same line just like right next to it and then i'm going to take it from that second line that i drew and drag this in and then i'm just going to kind of fill in and connect it now we're gonna build on this wing. So you can totally stop here if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and extend this out into a foxy wing, but this is just a perfect little shadow wing for every day. It literally takes two seconds and your eyes have shape. You've extended them. You've kind of given them that more almond shape. It's just perfect. I love it. I do this literally on the daily because it just gives such a nice you know, shape to the eye. So this is great for like every day. But we're going to extend it up a little bit more. So I'm going to take Shakespeare, which is kind of a reddish burgundy. I'm going to stick with the same brush. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit. And what I'm going to do is right at the tip, I'm going to extend it. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of stamp. The same way that I stamp like right here, right? Where I'm following my lower lash line going up and I just kind of stamp like right there. I'm just stamping at the end of it. Because we're just going to extend the wing is what we're doing. So... I'm going to extend that wing tip. Just going to stamp it up there a little bit. Once you kind of get it to the height that you want it, same thing. I'm going to go from the tip and we're just going to draw it back in. I grabbed a little bit of this summer, summer song shade right here. It's a very warm, toasty brown. And I'm just smoking that on top of this extended little wing I did. So softening the edges, I'm using an E36 Amorphe. It's just a little small little pencil brush, a little bullet type pencil brush. And I'm just smoking out those edges and just kind of putting that color on top. So I went ahead and topped that area that I had smoked up. I went ahead and topped it with this nice little shimmery shade, this purpley one right here called Dark Night. I've been finding that when I mix and kind of blend textures, it you just get kind of a softer effect. And this works really nicely if you have mature, crepey, wrinkly skin, because when you have that, it's literally like drawing on like aluminum foil. It's crinkly, you've got folds in your skin and it can just make you know, your matte shadows look like it's uneven when it's not. It's just the skin folds that, you know, are in your eyes naturally as you age. I mean, it is what it is. So 
by kind of blending a nice little shimmer on top of that matte shadowing just smooths everything out and then the last thing that I do is I go back in to the darker shade with that angle brush and I just stamp really really close to the lash line this not only adds depth and dimension to the overall wing but adds to that gradient fade of color keeping it really close to that lash line stamping and wiggling it will also add depth and dimension to the lashes so it's kind of a I might just grab a tiny bit of this yellow and pop it in there and just kind of see where I'm at with this and see because I really like how this looks so I'm just oh my god I'm gonna just pop a little bit of that in there yeah you know what that will work so I think I'll do that this is what I did for that look on Instagram and I actually loved how it came out so it just kind of intensifies this yellowy shade here so I'm just gonna put that on the inner corner I'm doing my lower lash line usually what I do is I like to connect the wing edge here with the lower lash line smoke so I'll kind of smoke like underneath here and then smoke like the edges of this wing tip right here because I like to cut off the bottom part anyway as you guys know because my eyes kind of have that downturn so I always kind of smoke over here and I just kind of follow it from my lower lash line kind of going up I just kind of smoke the edges of like that wing it'll just kind of soften these edges here and keep that concentration and the depth of that wing up a little bit higher which is where I want which is where I want the focus but I do like to connect it to this lower lash line smoke and just just so it looks like it's all kind of connected here All right, that completes the look. I absolutely love how it came out. If you guys like what you've seen, if you picked something up, um, I would love to have you guys join me. Please hit the subscribe button on your way out of town. And that is it. I love you guys, and I will see you all in my next one.